Hi there. So, hello, it's me, the driver of Slim Gammy's the Avatar from Hell. Uh, and I'm here with yet another tutorial on Let's Build a Sim. Uh, uh, part 3, I guess, we're on. And now, I decided that I guess I would do this because I uh, saw someone ask a question. Um, and I was looking at all the free crap on the internet that you can put onto your sim because a lot of people said I can't build, I can't do this. I'm gonna tell you something, there's so many free files now on the internet that you don't need to build. Um, you can load a bunch of things on. So that's great and I was, I've was i been playing around with a few of these OAR files um, but you know like I have my sim and I'm working on it and, and you know every time I load one on just to see what's inside, inside them I ruin my sim and I have to I'm getting tired of that so I've decided I'm going to add a fifth region onto my computer yes that's right so somewhere around here I'm gonna put another square on so that's great how do we do that well Again, it's not that hard, you just gotta know where to look. So, uh, without uh, further delay, we'll get on to how to add a region onto your Diva install from New World Grid, which it's really, really very simple. Okay, so we gotta find our files. Now, um, most people, uh, you're, it, this is, I installed New World Studio because it's easy. Um, anyway, but most people will have installed it. it. It will be in your program files. Now, I have, having messed with my OpenSim files enough to know that I, I'm tired of dealing with the read write protect uh, rules so I installed my open sim uh, new world studio outside that directory so now I don't have to click a bunch of things every time I want to modify a file so into your open sim um, here we are go in open sim diva we want the div this is because I upgraded um, that's what we want our diva which is our four um, duplicates and then what we want to do is we want to look for this file region config thingy so we're gonna do that okay so obviously I have a copy on my desktop already but what you want to do is before you modify this, you want to save a copy of the original file on your desktop in case you screw up and can't get anything to load. So this is the file we want. Here you see these are my four regions on my map. Uh, pixel junkies, one, two, three, four. So I want to add a fifth. So basically all you do is you cut and paste one of these regions, doesn't really matter which one and you alter the information on it and it'll add you a sixth uh, piece of land or fifth I guess in my case so I'm gonna change this I need to change my island name I need to change the UUID you don't have to get you know fancy you can change one number on this UUID any of these numbers and it will be fine you change one of the two numbers here or both um, you can make this 6422 two, 6421 uh, just to attach it or if you want to get fancy you can move it a little bit far away I don't know why you would on your PC if you want to start a new continent you need to change the port number and then you save it so here we go, I'm going to change my information to make a fifth island. So there you go. 
I change one coordinate. Um, I'm gonna try and stick it up here with my Pixel Junkies 1. Um, change the port. Now I Okay, so we need to do another thing. Um, when we port into it, Diva, the way it is now, it's set up um, as a mega region. Uh, but there's only one problem with that. We won't be able to get to our fifth region unless we turn that off. So, um, we are going to make them non-contiguous. We're going to change the grid back down to uh, the way it used to be, basically. <laughs> um, in order to allow us to add uh, the extra region. So the command we gotta change is combining contiguous regions and we're gonna change that to false. This has another good thing is you can use different textures on different regions and it's gonna let you. You won't be changing through your console anymore. So that lesson that I taught you about using changing by the console, you can do that still, but you can uh, change the textures on each region now to be different, which I guess I might do, seeing as I'm, well, adding a fifth region. Okay, so that's done. I gotta turn this off and reboot it. I forgot to turn it off, so I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, now we're just restart our sim. Okay, now it wants to know if we want to join this thing to the existing estate, you, so I'm going to say yes. Name of the estate to join. So there we go, we're going to, it's pixel junkies, that's it. Just one, so here we go. Now it's adding it. There we go, it's added it. Now we should just be able to log in and it'll be there if everything worked. Successfully inform region, the, the pits there. So we're gonna go to the pits. Okay, let's open our map and hopefully we'll see a fifth region. There we are, it's right beside us. There we are. On the other side of the desert island. I might move this region, I don't think I like it there. Anyhow, um, so basically that's it now. Uh, Maybe we'll load an OAR file onto it, um, just for to show you, I guess, more here. Okay, so, um, open some archive, OAR, there we are, uh, what these are, um, People have built regions, basically, and stuffed everything inside them from the region into an OAR. They saved their regions. There's a bunch of free ones all over the place. Um, uh, so you can basically download an entire region. See, here's uh, some URLs with uh, some open sim worlds. So here's one. Uh, Apollo moon experience so you can um, load that onto your simulator. Newbie region uh, which is from a guy in, on uh, OS Grid. All these places you can load them onto your uh, simulator. Ooh. 
Anyhow, I have actually saved one uh, already. That was kind of the reason why I wanted to um, make this region because I wanted. I have a copy backed up from a very old simulator that is shut down now. Um, that was uh, attached to New World Grid. Um, it, it, I uh, made uh, my my slum city over again, except I lost my scripts, and I don't want to go make new ones or ha go hunting. But they're all sitting on the archive, so I'm gonna load that archive here, and then I'm gonna go take all the scripts off of it, and then I'm gonna shut it down again. Uh, but something else I'm gonna do, although it's kind of redundant. Um, here, let me put a tree up. Okay, that's somebody's tree. See? That was from an OAR file. Anyways, um, I'm gonna s save this so that I can basically empty the sim off after. Uh, just my it'll give us two well, I'll show you how to save things as well That's while well, giving you a way to clear the sim uh, other than the there's a destroy function anyhow so it's really simple uh, super simple so I go save OAR you tell them what drive and me being lazy I put all my OARs right in right here so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna call it uh, my pit dot OAR okay so the thing you gotta remember is to be in the region that you want to be doing all this in so type change region and in this case it's gonna be change region the pit uh, if I'm not already there then I'm going to save my OAR uh, so the, that command is save uh, OAR the path um, which is my C drive and the name my pit so change region save OAR uh, C drive uh, my pit dot OAR that's it I'm gonna load this one dark city that's the city I built with the scripts on it that I don't want to go fetch or make or do whatever I did because this just seems easier to me so here we go uh, there's gonna be a lot of trees <laughs> so be warned so that's the command load OAR uh, load OAR and it's dark city dot oar now we'll just watch it in the making there we go starting to build it's kind of like being in the matrix whoops there i'm gonna be on well, that's the end of that tutorial. I hope you learned something. Uh, other than... At the very least, you learn how to stress out your computer. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And behind me you see the OAR I just loaded of my simulator that I built a while ago. And uh, hopefully you learn something. Uh, see you next time.